I'm Jean-Bernard Caron, Curator of Invertebrate Paleontology at the Royal Ontario Museum. I'm really excited to present some fossils that were at the basis of a new study just published in the journal Nature called A Primitive Fish from the Cameroon of North America. Here is a sample of fossils that come from uh, British Columbia and most of the important fossils for our study come from a new fossil deposit uh, discovered in 2012 by a ROM expedition in Kuti Na National Park. And so let me show you this one, for example, that we extracted in the field using hammer and chisels. And as you can see, there's two parts. And there are parts of the animal on both sides. Here's the anterior part, and here's the posterior part. So in order to study this animal, we need to have both parts. So we use a stereo microscope here to see some of the features. Those are the remnants of muscle bands. On the other side of the fossil, you see the head section, which uh, is beautifully preserved and shows uh, the eyes of the animal. This is something we didn't know before. The most important fossil, perhaps, that we discovered is only fragmentary and it's quite small, but let me show you. This is a fossil that preserves the anterior section very well and shows the eyes again, but this time you see the outline of the head. The head is a bit globulous, it has a, it's sort of lobe, bilobed, uh, and this is the posterior part of the animal. The other features that is really of importance in these specimens are a series of bars which are just behind the head, and these bars that I'm going to underline here, the first two pairs will eventually evolve into the jaws in modern vertebrates. Jaws have uh, evolved into various shapes and morphologies, as you can see here. And this animal really tells us that at the time of the Cambrian, um, jaws had not evolved yet, but there were structures, uh, they were already in place that will eventually uh, become uh, the jaws later in evolution. Now here is the animation uh, that we commissioned and you can see that this is an animal that will have been uh, probably an effective swimmer um, and it will have uh, probably fed at the bottom of the sea. Uh, the mouth is quite anterior here. The pair of eyes will have allowed the animal to see potential predators and uh, small uh, nasal capsules will have allowed the animal to smell its environment. So really this is an outstanding fossil uh, and tells us much more about what we may, might have looked like uh, at the time of the Cambrian.